My name is Cornelia Davis. I work as a platform engineer at Pivotal on the Cloud Foundry team. Uh, those of you who know me know that I like to go deep into technology, and so that's what we're going to do here in the next five minutes. So I've been working on the past for a couple of years, and in the beginning I believed all of the stuff about how it was all about the developer. PaaS was good for the developer, good for the developer, and so on. Since then, though, I've learned in the last few months that I'm, I'm actually working on an operations product. So the PaaS is just as important for the operator as it is for the developer. And so I want to talk to you about one of those operator-based uh, features, which is the four levels of HA. So number one, uh, availability zones. When you deploy the Cloud Foundry Elastic Runtime, you can deploy the DEAs across different availability zones. Then, when your users deploy applications to the PaaS, so now the application developer or the application operator is pushing that application, that application, when you have more than one instance, will be evenly distributed across those availability zones. We take care of that for you in the PaaS. Now, if one of those availability zones goes down, of course, you've still got application instances that are serving traffic. That's number one. Now, number two, what happens if another instance goes down? It's not an AZ, but an instance of my app goes down. I wanted two instances, but now I only have one. How does that work? What do we do to compensate for that? Well, the DEAs are always sending out periodically heartbeat messages. And in those heartbeat messages, they're saying what they have running on them. So each DEA is responsible for saying, here's what I've got running. We have a component called the health manager, which is listening to those heartbeat messages and builds up the actual state of the cloud. So it's constantly updating that actual state of the cloud. The cloud controller is the component that knows what the desired state is. So the health manager gets that desired state from the cloud controller does a comparison and sees if there's a difference between the desired and the actual state. If there is, it advises the cloud controller, and the cloud controller causes a new instance to be launched. Now I've got my state back. The last thing that it does there is another operator feature in that the router is automatically updated. So you don't have to update the router after that new instance has been deployed. So those two were in the elastic runtime. Now, when we move down into the Bosch layer, we have a number of other things. You might say, well, that health manager is pretty important in the Elastic Runtime. What happens if the health manager goes down? Well, we're actually monitoring all of the processes that are running on the virtual machines in the Elastic Runtime. If one of those processes goes down, two things happen. Number one, the process is restarted. The second thing that happens is that the Bosch agent that is running on the health manager and all of those other nodes sends out a message to Bosch, to the message bus. The health monitor, not to be confused with the health manager that's in the Elastic Runtime, picks up that alert and can send out things like pages, emails, and send things up into monitoring software. Ah, so now you think you've got me. Well, doesn't that depend on the agent? And what happens if the agent goes down? Well, in a pattern that we're familiar with here, you'll see that the agents, they're all sending out heartbeat messages as well. They get picked up by the health monitor that's in Bosch, which checks that against the desired state, which it retrieves from the Bosch director. If there's a di discrepancy, so right now everything's fine, but if something happens and one of those agents goes down or the machine goes down, then we're going to be missing that heartbeat message. The actual state will be updated, and an alert will be processed, pagers, emails, and in this case, a special responder called the resurrector, which is going to use the Bosch director through the CPI to spin up a new VM and start that process. That's number four. So what you can see is that we have four levels. Two of those are in the elastic runtime, Two of those levels are down in Bosch. The fact that they're in Bosch means that you get to take advantage of those, not just for the elastic runtime, but also for Pivotal HD and anything else that's deployed with Bosch. If this lightning talk was too slow for you, I invite you to take a look at this blog. We do the same thing in less than 28 seconds. Thank you very much. One last thing to say.
This is freaking cool. Thank you.